Let go of my hand. Mari Barrage, Todulak 2500. Mari Barrage. Oh. oh well, we'll just carry on. Mm. Where is it? Yeah, oh, I see. Do you, do you think this is a split? I don't know. There he is, he's running up. <laughs> One, there, there, up there. Just up that way. Look straight up. Hi, oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. He's on a rock shouting. He's dropped down somewhere now. I can bid. Arms out wide. Yeah, but now. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Well, can you see a higher one? No, look further that way. I can't. No, I didn't say that, no. Place here behind us. Way down the valley. Go into the to the dam. Butterflies are out. And we're walking at a contour of 2,500 meters. And up ahead is one of those strange obstacles with no idea what it is, what its purpose is. I think it's probes from an alien spaceship. You're just sticking here tonight, is? There you go. Oh, it swivels around. What's the point of that? Does it turn stuff? What? 
parks up oh, there. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the marmots are shouting because of that. Probably think. because of you. They've never liked the look of you since they saw you first. Okay. Well, there's one landed there. Now we're going this way, away from the lake. This is where the trousers is coming off. Hey, guys are coming. <laughs> Did you have the whole stone structure in? If you take your picture. Yeah, yeah, why not? So you take it from this angle looking down and you get the stone structure in that way. Yeah. What? Maybe not. We shall see. Who knows? He's gone. It's just me. The 
cloud is like a bird flying over here. That one. That one there? Yeah. Hmm. No imagination, that's your problem, Maggie. Bird flying. <laughs> Switzerland. The land of deaf cows, their clanging bells. Huh? Get your distance. Where's this go? It goes all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, what are they? Where is this one? I don't know. Maybe they're part of a zigzag and they have to go all over the place. Let's go straight. Go straight that way. Head for the two cows. Now you're being foolish. That cow will get up. Lovely. I'm getting out of it. Yeah. Getting out of here, these mad cows. The size of the thing. You're nothing better to do, just sit around all day, huh? Yeah, you look like a bull. everywhere. And upwards, everything starts with you, my dear. Look at the camera. Con de Sol Bois, 2850. Okay, from one valley into the next. A little bit of snow. Oh, that looks like hydroelectric power down there. Lovely. I'm back to Maggie. Start and finish with Maggie. more flowers.
Really? Zeno is off the side by. No, it goes off to Grimmins. So, boys, there's another half an hour. Yeah. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Ja, ich habe ich habe Oh, here we go. Somebody else being filmed, like this you, maybe. Mm -hmm. You've been set. She filmed him while he was having a rest. Zinal, finally approaching Zinal. Another probably eight hours by the time we get to our hotel. We eight hours? Yeah, since we left this morning, well, half eight. But then eight hours from now. <laughs> Got cars here. I wonder why they all park up here. Go walking up this trail. From ours. Want some cheese, Maggie? Oh, thanks. Okay, we can do some photos on the bridge. It'll be quite nice looking down the valley, I think, I hope. From ours, Jerry. <coughs> Hi husky dog, shaggy husky dog. So this is the direction back to Zinal, where we'll be going, but not on the river. And this is up the valley. Mile an hour zone. We got a barbecue going, or some wine tasting, or something. Final bench. Oh, yeah, wine tasting. The farm restaurants. 
Okay, left then. Let's stay here for a few days. Then. Nice, isn't it? Hotel de la Poste. Ah, what was the road that went? I said left. I must be just here. The Triff, the National Cafe Restaurant. It's a bit by right. So is that the little road that we saw? I'll tell you all up three stars. Your supermarché? Yeah. I'm going to walk around here. There's a bit of repair work. There's a lot of repair work. Whoops. The Trift Cafe Restaurant Hotel. Chez La Petite Ville du Guide Bonnard. Little daughter of the guy Bonnard. My kind of girl. Ooh. Okay, leaving Zinal. Um, there's the route through the skiing area that we came down for yesterday. And now we're heading off to Gruben. Another Town, small town in another valley. I'm uh, so fatigue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you can hold it and point it at me and ask if you see it. Monsieur, très fatigué. I'm here. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Are we? Uh, oh. <laughs> you probably got your hand over the microphone. Oh. You didn't get anything of that. <laughs> Sound effects. Now, how does this? There's no locking up. It just swings. It's like that. Okay, my shade. of Zino. Got up in um, about 40 minutes at this point. You can't see the Beast Horn or Dante Blanche, the two big mountains are kind of hidden from view. Uh, but we'll see those later on. Where's Maggie? She's gone. She doesn't stop. She doesn't hang around. A nice flat section before we get to some more steep climbing. We've just done a section which must have been about 45 degrees. Almost horizontal we are. Yeah. This, is, this is about 10 degrees and it feels great. Going through the larch wood. Everywhere you go, you go through larch woods. No smell from them. No. I think I can hear them. Yep. OK. 
Okay, just about to emerge from the tree line. You can see all the way to whatever valley that is. Their own, maybe. Yes, it is. Is that what they said? Their yeah, own valley? Looking down the own valley. And you're looking down the Bernie's Overland. You're seeing. Yep. Grief of it. Good grief, we've just done three kilometres. Uphill. Nice clear day. Hey Maggie. Yes. Okay. okay, let's see where we are. Vanezwa Alpaj. Still forward, Hotel Vishorn. Promenade de Aro Chakut. Chakin, six of us. And back there, just rising the highest one, and it's called Dense Tooth, the tooth. Okay, onwards. The stormtroopers passed us. There was a Scotsman amongst them. Guy with a kilt, first on this holiday. We might catch up with them. I'll give you a view. <laughs> Scotsman in kilts frighten you, Mags? Yeah, I do. Huh? I do. This is a nice section now, nice and flat, making some distance with a, whenever there's a break in the trees, a nice view down the valley. Very cool, must be six to seven degrees. I'm all feeling the cold, thinking should I put my fleece but if you put your fleece on, then you get too warm. Then you hit, well, the rule is, the, what, what happens, law of walking, put your fleece on, you, you get you, an uphill section. So, best thing is, don't put your fleece on and the road stays nice and flat. Look at that, Rhone Valley. Vineyards are plenty. No idea what all these towns are that we can see down below. I'll have to have a look at a map later. I'll let you know. You might see the V sign at some stage. Let's have a turn around. No, I don't think so. Dancing view there. No, not yet, not till later. Uh, the, the reason we mentioned Vison is because it's the second largest and it's seen from quite a number of points along the route, the latter stage of the route. Um, Matterhorn, typically near the end. Ooh, be careful here, Henry. Maggie's talking. Henry, put the camera away and concentrate on the path. <laughs> what does she know? A long way down.
good bounce of it. Okay, looking straight back down towards Zeno, where we've come from. Uh, we're quite high up, we've got a nice uh, level path for the moment, which is great. Maggie's marched off, and uh, pretty soon we'll be at Four Clatter. <laughs> There's our path, goes and traces, looks like it goes along and no. up. So, no. Our, no. I don't think our coal is. It seems to follow. Look, it goes along. Or you think it goes along that way then? Zigzags up Zigzag. and up. And then? Go through that gap. Oh, that's not much of a gap. So, it be high up in there. that's, could be off. For Kletter, we're going to have a look at the map in a minute and see. Uh, and now in the Valley Valley, oh. Cows high up there. Yeah. On the left hand side high up. Yeah. See there's a house as well there. Yeah. Wow. Must be the highest cows in all of Switzerland. Highest cows. That must be about two six, two seven. Right, seven four yeah. at the top. Let's see what the sun did. One second, I'm going to go and view over the other side. Hey, hey. <laughs> I mean, hiya. <laughs> Maggie's just here. Uh, thinks you're stretching it a bit, Maggie. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that a GoPro? It's, it's a Chinese clone of a GoPro. <laughs> it's a git up. <laughs> oh, okay. and go. I, I, I kind of like it because I can just put it in my pocket and yeah. take it out and, and hold it for bits. But you're filming then? Yes. So now we're coming down from Foca Letter, or whatever it's called. Amazing, how soon you forget where you've been. And there's Maggie on our long descent down. Some snow around here in these moraines. The path looks kind of nice. Oh.
Purple orchids. What was that? A butterfly? Yeah. And they flew away. Videoing it, there's sheep. Even the poor sheep have got bells. Do you not like the heat? There's not much heat today, guys. Well, they've got a heavy hope, of course. Yeah, they should have been shared. Well, they have been shared. Back again. Yeah, yeah, I know. You'll need it soon enough, guys. So, we've got the Beast Horn of a glacier, a teeny dam by the looks of things. And um, over the other side of the valley, and that must be Gruben down at the bottom of the valley. And finally, we arrive in Gruben. Maggie's waiting for me. There's a novelty. Oh, no, she's not. It's tormenting me. She's gonna. Hey, matey. <laughs> Place is full of kids. What happened to our holy handy moment? Have a look inside the church. Is anybody in? One eight two five. The Petit Nan. I thought this was um, German. Z oh, next one is Zoom Farish with a cow. Nineteen sixty three. And then we've got Alphutter Alksbord, 1997. What a weirdo. Yes, what? It does. What's that down there? Like a little bar. Have you seen any local shops? No. Would that be a local shop? There is a shop. Maybe that's it down there. Yeah. 
Uh, so the only village in the valley must be a there somebody must do a shop. There is, it's this one. One shop. Mayor Horn, 1969, the Spitz. And there, uh, round the front, I think. This looks right at the back. Hugo, for seven francs. Oh, we've got different ice creams here. Yeah, Frisco. That pillow's not no. hashed in. There's two pillows, or are they just Speakers somebody just karate chopped? <laughs> somebody do a karate chop at the end. You know, you better pay otherwise. <laughs> so, some. Yeah. Not here, maybe, madame. You have to go somewhere else. It's out in the corridor. Could have ditched the bed and been in the shower. What am I doing? That's hard. Some people are hard to please. Okay, madame, which of these three beds are you having? Oh, which one are you having? I'll have the one closest away. So it'll be that one then? Yeah. I'll have the karate chop pillows then, my <laughs> choice. <laughs> Lampshade's a bit wobbly. How many PowerPoints have we got? That's two. We can unplug the two lights. Well, have you got? You haven't got a light, you see. Do you really? It's a bit austere. There's not even a picture on the wall. Oh, there's a picture on the wall. Hotel. Human Hotel. German Hotel. 3550 meets Play Diablon. Wow. Okay. I think you got the menu there. I think I've lost my gate this day. She's on the Wi Fi. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> She's got pictures to send to Sophie. Then have a shower and get off the bed. <laughs> 